Amani, peace and blessings to you all, brothers and sisters. It is yours truly, Amar Mari. I am the founder of El Kelbalan Unity Alliance. I'm also the CEO of Synergetic Network Group, LLC, and El Kebalan Lifestyle. My queen, Amani Amari, is the co-founder, and she is the executive director of all of the above. Thank you so much for tuning in to your empowerment program with yours truly, Amar Amari. We're going to talk about life's alignment on today. It is imperative that we take out the time to not only to focus on the knowledge of self, but we need to focus on our mental health. Uh, you know, having a stable mind in our life is very valuable. Your mind is not a terrible thing to waste. Your mind is a precious thing to waste. And I would like to say on today that we need to definitely focus on our minds. So many people, they focus on just the cultural aspect of our life. But we must understand that our culture consists of spirituality, which deals with our mental faculty. It builds Uwa Pele. And Ifa, that means in the Yoruba language, it stands for good character. So not only do we need to focus on the knowledge of self, but we need to focus on our mental health. And we need to ensure that our life is on the right track. This is the reason why I entitled it Life's Alignment. When somebody life is not on track, it's just like a bone being out of joint. It is very painful when a bone is out of position. And this occurs in our lives when our life is not on the right track. Whomsoever you are affiliated with can also cause pain in your life as well. Troublemakers bring trouble. People who talk garbage brings trash into your life, which causes your life, in essence, to become trashy. So it is imperative that we are depositing the right information in our lives and also ensuring that we're connected with the right people. The way that we find out whether or not our life is on track is by Ensuring that our life is in alignment with our purpose in life. Your purpose is your guidebook to your life. Because when you're living outside of your purpose, you know then that you are not on the right track. It's like an, an alignment for a vehicle. Let's use that for an example. When you don't have a proper alignment, your vehicle does not drive straight and it also affects your tires. It destroys your tires. So this is what happens when your life is not on the right track and you're not living your purpose in life. It causes your life to be off track. And it causes damage in your life because you are not in alignment with your life purpose. You must also understand that people in your life is a part of your life path. If you don't have the right person in your life, for example, if you are married to the wrong person or you are friends with the wrong person, it can cause your life to be rough and bring turmoil in your life. Because the individuals that you are connected to are not good for your life and ultimately causes life to be bad. So you must take a self inventory. What are you doing to align your life with your life purpose? Let's take an analysis of our life and let's step back for just a moment and start to 
look within ourselves and to see whether or not our life is what we want our life to be. Let's be honest with ourselves. Because see, lies don't transform your life. Lies will keep you in the same disposition that you're in right now. Although it may be painful for you to be honest with yourself, it is necessary. It is necessary pain. It's just like working out. Uh, it's necessary pain. Because when you work out, it causes growth. It gives you better health. When you work out. Although the aftermath in some cases is pain. However, it was good pain. Why? Because that pain that you have a cure, it brought about growth. So it's necessary. Let me take out the time to greet everyone that's out there in the audience on today. Uh, my queen, Amani Amara, thank you for always tuning in. Love you, beautiful. My good brother, J.P. Hall. Blessings be upon you and your queen. Um, queen Lisa Ann, thank you so much for tuning in as well. Queen said, Ashe, I must be on the right path then. The queens are in alignment with what I'm saying. That's that feminine energy we need it in our lives. Uh, queen Suzette is in the building. Poetic. Yeah, Poetis. Queen Anya is in the building. She is a phenomenal poet you want to definitely check her out my good brother sean ali uh make sure that you tune in next week our brother sean ali he'll be on the program next week and he'll be talking about physical health so we truly are what we eat and uh if we eat unhealthy then we'll be unhealthy so let's look at this in a spiritual aspect let's tie this all in together and whatever we consume mentally, uh, that's the state of mind that we are going to be in. If we consistently speak negativity in our lives, what we do is we have put ourselves in the posture of being powerless. Now, Let's flip-flop that. Less power. Negativity in your life literally drains you of your power. It makes you powerless, meaning that now you have less power over your life because of your mind. Your mind now has caused you to be limited and when you do such things now you have put yourself in a position of defeat so now what you have to do is stop limiting yourself and when you do that you put yourself in a position of victory We have to put limitless boundaries on us, meaning that we limit ourselves less. All right. The more you continue to focus on positive things, you limit yourself less. And you will come to find that uh, as you begin to deposit the correct information in your life. It will take the limits off. And then you will become unlimited. You will become unlimited. So now we'll transition from being limitless. In other words, limiting ourselves less. And then we will get to the point where we will become unlimited. No restraints on what we can do and what we can accomplish in our lives. This is the reason why we don't want to limit ourselves to just 
learning about our culture. We don't want to just limit it to changing our attire. Because see, some people, they speak African, but don't dress African. They dress African, but don't think African. So we want to ensure that we have a balance in our lives. Because the truth of the matter is, it's, it's beyond our attire. It's now we're tapping into our supernatural being, which is our real selves. Now we're tapping into a higher level of consciousness, meaning awareness. Now you have SA, which is not only just situational awareness, but now you're having self-awareness because now you're becoming in tune with yourself. In other words, your life path. Everybody has a purpose in his life and it's your responsibility for you to seek out the creator, Ola Dumare, and for you to find out the purpose of your life. Because that is going to be, once you find it, that is what's going to be the navigation system to your life. And that's going to direct you in the right direction. It's going to keep you on the right path. It's going to keep you from taking a detour. And also keep you from listening to the decoys. Because see what happens is when you take a detour, you're going to end up at a dead end. In other words, your dreams will be killed. Your vision will be killed. And when you end up at a dead end, what do you do? You stop. And what you have to do, turn around and go all the way back to where you came from. Now, what, what is that doing? Now you're backtracking. And so in essence, you're going backwards instead of going forward. Right? So this is the reason why it's so important for you to understand that you have to pay attention to what's going on in your life. Now, listen, of course you are assigned, and, and this is what I believe, that we are all assigned to certain individuals. All of us are assigned to connect to someone, all of us. And see, some of us, we think our lives are insignificant, but our lives is very important because as parents, you are the ones that's molding and shaping the minds of our future leaders. So stop thinking that you are somebody that's insignificant because you are somebody that is great because the way that you raise your child or your children, they're going to be the ones that's going to influence society. So all of us, if you're a, a grandmother, you are a grandfather, you're an auntie, you're an uncle, you know, you're a godparent. Or even if you're just simply a friend. All of our roles in this life is paramount because sometimes someone needs you just to listen and listening is therapeutic. For the person that needs to release the stress in their life. And by you simply just being an ear to listen, it has helped that person to heal. So you must understand that you play a critical role in the piece of the puzzle of the success of someone's life. Your life is meaningful. Your life has purpose. And although because of what somebody may have done to you that has traumatized you mentally that caused you to think the opposite of what's being stated. It doesn't negate the fact that you are a person of greatness. Unfortunately, you just can't see it because of the scab of life that's covering up the greatness that's in you. And I'm here to dig it out. To help you to understand that the condition that you're in now is not your expected end. Your destiny is not defeat. 
Your destiny is not the pain that was caused because of you being molested or raped. Your, your destiny is not the pain that was caused by you uh, being told that you're ugly or you're not good enough. No, that's not where your story ends. That's not where your story ends. It may be a part of your story, but that's not where your story ends. Listen, it's, it's your choice whether or not the chapter of your life ends at my pain. Or you can so choose to go beyond your pain and look within yourself and see who you really are. What's keeping you in a position of defeat is lies. And see, lies causes you to doubt who you actually are. The falsehoods that you've been told about yourself are exactly that, false. It's not true. So it is upon you for you to find out the truth about who you are. About why are you here? You're certainly not here just to eat, to drink. You're not here just to travel. You're not, you're not here just for that. Your life purpose is greater than you going on a vacation or buying a Bentley or Mercedes Benz or having a mansion or dripping with gold and diamonds and having lavish clothing, and going to the finest restaurants. It's more to life than that. In fact, it's more to life than all the foolishness that's going on on social media and on television. You have to learn how to be able to function in this world and, and not be of this world. But also you have to learn how to deal with the, the realities in this world and still be able to function like you're living outside of this world. Because understand this, your spirit man is out of this world. And this is how you're going to be able to function effectively within this world and still keep your sanity. It's by you tapping into your divine nature. Because your flesh is not you. The spirit within is actually you. This is a fact. If your soul leaves your body, your body will fall to the ground. Which means that that's not really you. Because if it was you, then you would still keep living. So what you need to focus on is the most important thing is the internal. And when you focus on the internal, externally, things around you began to transform. Because internally, you have focused on your mind. Your mind is, I promise you, your mind, if you master your mind, you will be the master of your destiny. You will no longer be a slave to the system of this world, to racism, to religion, to, to, to people's opinion about you. When you began to master your mind, you become the master of your destiny. No one would be able to hinder you when you master your mind. The reason why a lot of people are in the state that they're in because people have manipulated people's minds. They are stagnant because mentally they are in a place of stagnation because of the lies that they have been receptive to. People must conquer themselves before they can help anyone else. You must first conquer yourself before you can help anyone else. You can't believe in someone else because you don't believe in yourself. So if you doubt yourself, 
then you start doubting other people. It is a fact. A cheater believes somebody else is cheating because they're cheating. A doubter will tell you that you can't because they don't believe that they can. If somebody is crippled, how can they help you walk when they're crippled? So no one can help you if they're mentally crippled themselves. How can they help you get out of prison and they themselves are jailed in their own mind? So this is the reason why other people are not thinking about other people. Why? Because they themselves are not thinking about themselves. So how can we expect somebody that is not free in their mind to be liberated to free us? No one can free you if they themselves are enslaved. That's like expecting a blind person to help another blind person to walk. They're incapable of doing so because they both are blind. So it is imperative that you yourself Tap into your divine nature. Listen, do not concern yourselves. I'm not saying do not be concerned with. No, hear me clearly. Do not concern yourself with those who don't know their self. They don't even know who they are. So why would you listen to them tell you about who you are and they don't even know who they are? So what they're saying to you is irrelevant. The reason why a lot of us are so troubled in our life because we're listening to things that don't even pertain to us. This is the reason why the title of this message to you is Life's Alignment. You have to know your assignment in order for your life to be in alignment. If you don't know your assignment, then your life will not be in alignment. And this is the reason why a lot of people's lives are disrupted because you know why? Because religiosity and lies have unfortunately tainted them. Because they're living by somebody's opinion rather than what's actually factual. So what you're doing is you're living somebody else's reality. That's not your reality. So why are you so frustrated internally is because you're actually wrestling with what you're supposed to really be following and doing. But you're frustrated. Why? Because you're too concerned with what somebody else thinks of you. You won't be stable. Dear brother and sister, until you accept the reality that you are different. You're not called to be the same. Same does not bring change. It's those who are different that bring change. The same does not bring change. It's those who are different to bring change. Think about it. If everybody thinks the same, then who's going to tell them that they're wrong? So you're not called to be the same. You're different for a reason so you can show them the right way. And then yes, it may be more challenging because you're going against the grain of the lies. It's time to unsubscribe to the lower dimensional thinking and it's time for you to go to a higher dimension in your mind. And in order for you to do this, you must acquire correct information that's going to help elevate your thought process, which ultimately lifts you out of the dungeon of disparity that you have been chained in for so many years.
The reason why you're wrestling? Yes, you know why? Because the real you wants to get broken free from them. You wants to get broken from them. You wants to be you, not them. So you have to align yourself and live by what you know. They may not know it, but you know it. So you live what you know. And then one day, those individuals that don't know if they're seeking the truth, they will find it. It is an absolute fact. I know this for myself. I went from one level to another level in truth. I went from religion to spirituality. So go for what you know. Live according to what you know. Because if you try to fit in, your life is going to continue to be painful because you are called to be an outsider. Why? Because you need inside information in order for you to go outside and bring them in. So you are an outsider for a reason. You don't fit in because you're called to bring people out. This is why you're so unique. You're not weird. See, you're unusual so you can break people who do things that are usual out of the usual. You're abnormal because you're sent to break people out of the norm. And once you grasp it, once you embrace who you are, not weirdness, your uniqueness, unique, you're, you're not weird, dispel that lie. Get, get that out of your vocabulary. You're not weird. You're unique. You're outstanding, meaning that you've been called to stand out. You're outstanding. You've been called to stand out. So you can bring other people out in. Access is only granted to those who relinquish this lower dimensional thinking. Ultimately, when you, when you really tap into spirituality, you understand it's not even a race thing. It's a spiritual thing. Hear me well. Once you really tap into the divine, you will understand it's not flesh, it's spiritual. Even though this may be a verse recorded in the Bible, it is still true. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Against spiritual forces in higher realms. So once you understand that what you're dealing with is something that's internal it's a spiritual thing. You began to transcend and you began to evolve. Because it's not the fleshly things. It's not the things that you see in a physical sense. What you're ultimately dealing with is a mentality, which is a soulless thing. It's a mind thing. They've been brainwashed into being that way. So now you're dealing with the soul, which is their psyche, which the psyche is the mind which again is the spirit is not the flesh. The spirit influences the body. The mind influences the, 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 the movements, just like your fingers and everything else move and, and your fingers do whatever the spirit says, the mind says, because if it was no soul here, this would be, it would be lifeless. There's no life here. You understand? So your extremities move because there's still life inside of you. Without the spirit, the spirit is controlling your body, your flesh. So ultimately, it's still spiritual. So this is the reason why we have to tap into the divine nature of who we actually are. This is the reason why, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is the reason why a lot of people are not spiritual. That's why they don't grow. That's why they, they, they get, they're stagnant. Because see, they don't, understand, they don't have the weaponry. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal. Okay, so that means you have to have information. The word is spirit and life. The word is spirit and life. Again, the word is spirit and life, right? You can't see a word. You can't feel a word. 
but you hear a word and, and words connect with the soul. So by you receiving the right information and the implementation of the correct information is, is what's going to transform your life. Know no man after the flesh. Know them after the spirit. The spirit. In other words, you don't know them after what you see physically. You get to know their soul. This is the reason why some Caucasian people treat you better than uh, some of your own people. Why? Because it's spiritual. It's a matter of the heart that you're dealing with. You're not dealing with the physical, man. You're dealing with internal. So the way somebody is internally is what's going to affect them externally. And this is by way of the way uh, one conducts themselves. Our ancestor, the Honorable Dr. Martin Luther King said, don't judge a man by the content. Don't judge a man by the, the color of their skin, but the content of their character. That's basically what he was saying. He was saying, you know no man after the flesh. You get to know their spirit. So we have to transcend the fleshly thinking, the lower dimensional thinking. We don't need an upload. We need a download. Again, an upload is a lower source. A lower source, if you know anything about technology, an upload is a lower source. A download comes from a higher source. So what we need is a download. We need some universal. We need some divine information that's going to help us to be able to understand what's going on in this universe. This is the reason why you don't hear me talking about R. Kelly. This is, this is the reason why. Why? Because I'm not getting caught up in that. I'm not getting caught up in the propaganda. I'm, I'm not getting caught up in all of these things. I acknowledge what's factual and I keep it moving. This is why I have so much peace and joy. Okay, because I don't engulf myself with the foolish things of this world. Because remember, it confounds the wise. So you need to look at that verse in a totally different light. The foolish things of this world confounds. It, see what I'm saying? It's another way that verse goes. But the foolish things in this world will confound the wise. It will literally dumb you down if you start getting caught up in the propaganda. This is the reason why I say that you have to transcend beyond just finding out about your culture. You got to tap into the spiritual realm. OK, you got to go beyond that because, listen, your family, the only way your family is going to eat off of you knowing who you are is unless you're an African studies teacher, you're getting paid to, to do lectures. That's the only way your culture is going to feed you. Period. So you got to learn how to go beyond, you know, what I'm saying black power. OK, you got to start. You know what I'm saying? Transcending. You you start, you gotta start leveling up in your thinking. You gotta start thinking, okay, how can my family not eat? How can I build wealth for my family? Okay? How can I stop myself and my family from, from being sick and, and getting cancer and, and and things of this nature? Okay, how how can I help my my family, all right, to to, to be financially stable? So you got to get your life in alignment because so many people, every time you turn around, they talk about the white man did this, the white man did that, the white man, the white, you know why? Because that's all they feed their spirit. That's it. They don't understand a, a, a man is a flesh, is a fleshly being. It's beyond the flesh and they get stagnant and that's all they talk about and, and uh, understand there's no substance to that. Because people need to listen. After you pull a gangster out of the street, after they stop selling drugs, they need a job. Hear me, I'm a realist. Okay? After you after you tell them who they are, then what? After that, now what? Now they know that they're they're African. Now they know what culture they, they're supposed to practice. Okay, but they still got to clothe and feed their family. 
So it's beyond that. But so many people, they get stuck on, oh, you know, we're part of this people. We're part of that people. And, 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 you know, we come from here and okay. All that's wonderful. And that's good information. It gives self-confidence. Okay. Not only just individual confidence in self, but confidence in us as a people. Once we learn about our accomplishments and, and all those wonderful things like that, that's great. But after that, now we still living in this earth. So we need to find out how can I create a solid life for my family financially? How do now, how do I, how do I heal from the trauma of my uncle raping me? How do I, how do I heal from the trauma of my daddy leaving me when, when, when I was a little boy and left me and my mama, you know, there to fend for ourselves. See, learning your culture is not going to remedy that. See, people, they're, they're running around with their fist in the air. But on the inside, they're still hurting. It's still pain. Their lives financially is still in shambles. You know why? Because that's all they focus on. The white man did this. The white man did that. The white, listen, the only person can stop you is you. You are your only limitation. My queen and I have a total of three businesses. And you and I look just alike. My father told me at the age of five, he didn't want to see me no more. I was bounced back and forth between my grandmother and my mother. I grew up on welfare. But my past and my experiences did not define who I am. And she and I own real estate. Now, my queen, she come from the worst part of Pompano Beach, Florida, that you can think of. They say Kaya City here. Yeah. Although it's Colier. <laughs> Uh, I know y'all, I know you popping no natives, you know what I'm saying? You probably go get me for that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but anyway, she come from the worst parts. Listen, and I have to share this with you. My queen and I both, I was, I was born and raised in Rochester, New York. Listen, I grew up on the two worst sides of, of Rochester, New York. I grew up on the east side and the west side. When I lived on the east side, I lived on Joseph, I live off of Joseph Ave. When I grew up on the west side, I lived off of Childlight. And I lived near Genesee Street. Okay? And not too far from where I lived at on the east side was Hudson. I lived in the two, I lived on two worst sides of the city. And here we are both now building wealth for our family. I'm happily married to a beautiful African queen. So listen, we have to get in alignment. There are some good women, African women. There are some good African men. But if we keep feeding ourselves these things, our lives will have no balance. We will never have any unity because see community means to fellowship and unity. So we'll never be able to fellowship and unity if we don't feed our minds the right things. We have to have a spiritually balanced diet. We have to just not only focus on the knowledge of self, but we got to focus on health and wealth. Alignment. So we have to deal with the deeper issues within our community beyond racism. Now we have to deal with our mental issues. Because we could dress up in African attire all we want to. We can talk. We can learn the language all we want to. That won't solve the internal emotional problems that we're dealing with as a people holistically. That's not going to solve our African problem. That's not going to solve, you know, our economical problems. It's not going to solve that. We have to learn and then we have to apply what we've learned that is accurate.
So it's time for us to go to another level. It's time for you to align your life. It's time to face yourself. And as our ancestor Michael Jackson said, who people talk so negatively about too as well. He said, I'm going to look at the man in the mirror. And I'm going to ask him to change his ways. And he said, you got to look at yourself and make a change. I like to say transform. You got to look at yourself. Only you can hinder you. Your, your ethnicity, the melanin in your skin is not a limitation. You are your only limitation. And also, your limitation is those who you are affiliated with. You have to sever all of the above. You have to sever the negative thoughts from your life and the negative people from your life and surround yourself with people who have healthy thoughts and then also deposit the correct information in you that will create a healthy consciousness. Okay, going down the roster, Queen Suzanne Patterson, my good brother Deshaun M. Gibson, King Stephon Reed, Elder Gibbs, King Mike O'Bell, Queen Danita Lake, King Tony Adams. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully something was said today that will challenge you in the area of your spiritual life and your finances and your life holistically. So let's bring healing to the community. Let love germinate instead of hate. Again, this is yours truly, Amar Mari. I am the founder of El Kevalon Udini Alliance. My queen, Amani Mari, is the co-founder. I'm also the CEO of Synergetic Network Group, LLC, and El Kebalon Lifestyle. Uh, my queen, Amani Mari, is the executive director of both. And on behalf of my queen, Amani Mari, and I, we love you. We thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Uh, for those who are sharing, we thank you. For those who purchased clothing from El Kebalon Lifestyle, we thank you. Uh, we also like to thank Mike O'Bell, who was one of the first ones to buy clothing from our online store um, and also being one of the first ones to sow uh, money into our ministry, Synergetic Network Group, LLC, where we're the community liaison for entrepreneurs and consumers. We highlight uh, various personalities that are doing something positive. Uh, you know, it's not limited to entrepreneurship. Okay. Um, also, we like to support those who are in music as well. If you're a poet, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be monetary. We just want to highlight what you're doing as positive uh, because we believe that no one can know about someone who they have not heard about. In order for that to occur, we have to publicize what you're doing. And also, for those of you who have a burning desire for entrepreneurship, listen, that is your calling. I want you to understand that. That desire that you have to start a business is not for naught. Everybody doesn't have that desire to be an entrepreneur, to be a boss. So listen, boss, boss up, make boss moves, get your business started. And if you need some assistance with that, feel free to reach out to myself and we will direct you to the right individuals. Because what we do is we also have a pool of subject matter experts that can help you in various occupations, such as being real estate investors, OK. Um, also, if you need credit repair. OK, we know holistic doctors 
Uh, you know, we know nurses. Okay. Um, we know publishers. We know those who, if you are going into business and you need business credit, uh, one of our own, Cedric, uh, he can definitely help you out with that. Okay. Uh, if you need somebody to help you with um, advertising your business, we know people who can help you with that. Okay. So our attitude of servitude, we're here to serve you. Uh, and again, uh, we greatly appreciate all that you have done, all that you're doing. And all that you're going to do. Um, I, for my queen of mine and Mara and I, we love you so much. We thank you. Uh, and we're here to bring unity in the community. Peace, love, and power. Have a blessed one. Oh, yeah, I want to send a shout out too to my brother Dexter White. I serve with my brother in the United States Marine Corps, a good friend of mine. Dexter, keep doing great things, man. Love you, bro. Appreciate you, man.